Welcome to the Heidi Thorne Show. I'm your host, Heidi Thorne, and in this podcast, I share my real-world self-publishing and small business experience with you. Before we get started, I just want to remind you to like, comment, share, follow, and subscribe. Now let's get on with today's show. As you're shopping on Amazon, you may have run across product pages that include additional photos and content to help promote the product. I don't know about you, but I was puzzled about how that all worked and kind of jealous since I'd love to have that capability for my books. This additional content is referred to as A plus content on Amazon. It's now available for authors who self-publish on KDP, Kindle Direct Publishing. I'm testing the waters. Here's what I've discovered about it. What is a content? When you self-publish on KDP, you can't upload more than the book cover image for your standard product description. The good news is that you can now upload additional pictures with a content. a content can be images, text, and table data that will appear on product detail pages on Amazon. It helps engage buyers and offer more information than what is in the standard book description. As with everything on Amazon, it must meet content guidelines for images and text. No videos or GIFs, or is it GIFs? You cannot include reviews from individuals, customers, or other private people in a content. However, you can include up to four quotes or endorsements from well-known publications or public figures, as long as you cite your sources. That's kind of confusing. Who's public? Who's well-known? Editorial reviews are also not allowed in a content since there is already a place for them on the product page. As a reminder, you enter your editorial reviews in your author central account. There's a laundry list of other types of information you cannot use on a content, including that which is time sensitive, offers, discounts, shipping details, claims. The list is extensive. Make sure your content does not include these things or your content will be rejected and you'd have to edit it and resubmit. Note that a content cannot be used for books that have pre-orders, but it can be added once the book is live and available for regular sale. How do you create a content? You'd logically expect to be able to add your a content to your titles on your bookshelf in KDP, similar to how you access your KDP Select and book details. Nope. You go to the marketing link when you log into KDP. On that page, you'll see a new section for A plus content, which offers informational links for getting started, guidelines, and examples. Because this is new at this point, expect that there may be changes to these access links in the future. Keep checking KDP support documentation for updates. When you're ready to get started, you need to first choose a marketplace on this A plus section on the marketing resources page. This will depend on the markets you target. This will bring you to your A plus content manager. Clicking the start A plus content button will bring you to your layout modules. It kind of reminds me of platforms like WordPress, where you add modules or blocks of content. When you create a plus content, you're not assigning it to a specific title until later. This allows you to create content that you could use across book titles. That makes some sense, especially for authors who do book series. However, as far as I can tell right now, you can't include links to those other titles. So even though you can promote related or series titles, since it requires them to proactively search for and view those other titles on Amazon. Once you've created your A plus content, you can preview and save it separate from your book titles. You can then link it to the ASIN number of your selected book titles. They alert you that it may take several days to approve your content. Mine got done in about 24 hours. So let's see how the A plus content looks on one of my books. Here's my author page on Amazon. And because I wanted it to be some visual information I could share, um, I'm going to choose to add this A plus content to one of my coloring books. 
So I scroll down to the Daylily coloring book. Here's the regular product description. And then I scroll down and here's where your A plus content is going to appear in the from the publisher section. I just chose a really simple content module that just had four images showing coloring schemes that you could use in the coloring book. Amazon will identify the international markets that support the language of your A plus content. Then they will copy a draft of your content to international markets, which you can edit and publish for these additional markets. Note that buyers will see content based on the language preference they set. Since my primary marketplace is Amazon.com in the United States, and I get very few international orders from non-English speaking markets, this is not a concern for me at the moment. I also don't have enough familiarity with non-English languages to feel comfortable creating non-English language content. Keep in mind that just because you can use things like Google Translate tools doesn't mean your content will be automatically appropriate for these other markets. I've emphasized before that localization editing is important for reaching markets that speak a language other than your native tongue. Note that Amazon will not publish your a content until you hit the publish button to publish your a content for English or whatever language you are using. How effective is a content for KDP authors? a content for KDP is too new to make any valid assessments on its effectiveness. It's unknown how much it could impact Amazon's algorithms. My guess is that Amazon does take it into consideration due to the text in the modules, but like using keywords on Amazon, it won't be a key driver of traffic to authors' book listings. My opinion on it is that it doesn't hurt to add it, but don't expect it to be the reason that people visit your book's product pages on Amazon or buy. As with everything on Amazon, you have to proactively drive traffic to those pages in order for your potential readers to see your a content. It all goes back to building your author platform. I hope you found that helpful, and if you did, please rate, review, and subscribe to The Heidi Thorne Show on whatever podcast app you like to use. I'm on all the major ones, including Apple Podcasts and Spotify. If you like the YouTube video better, you just have to subscribe to my Heidi Thorne YouTube channel and turn on the notifications so you get an alert when a new video is up. I would appreciate it if you would share the audio or the video with your friends on social media. My self-published books are available on Amazon, Audible, and Apple Books. All you have to do is go to my Heidi Thorne author page and a list of all available titles will show. If you want to connect with me, my website is HeidiThorne.com. Thank you so much for listening and for your support. I look forward to talking with you again in the next episode. In the meantime, have a great day.